The United Nations is warning the weather phenomenon known as El Nino could make 2024 even hotter than 2023, which was the hottest year on record. One consequence of rising temperatures is the rapid melting of the world's glaciers. Now a group of scientists in Chile is working to create artificial glaciers. Manuel Bohorkas has more. It started innocently enough. A hike up the mountain with a group of scientists for a rare glimpse at an artificial glacier. As it turns out, for the inexperienced climber, yours truly in this case, this heavenly setting can make for quite a hellish hike. No trail to follow, just slush. The freezing, thin air of nearly 10,000 feet filling your lungs. An hour and a half climb up, they said. Try four, all to see this, an almost otherworldly looking monolith of ice. So thank you for bringing us up here. I almost died along the way, I think, but I made it. It's called a stupa, and it's the creation of Sebastian Goldschmidt and his team at Project Nihilus. So you're capturing the water that's coming down from the glaciers. Yes. And refreezing it. You're refreezing it, okay, it, without using uh, additional energy. Without using addition, just gravity. Yes, just gravity. A pipe brings the water down slope and into what resembles a sprinkler head. As it freezes in the cold air, it forms a tiny glacier, a concept borrowed from Ladakh, India, where the structures have been used to store water for dry months. Because you will have some water when before you you didn't you didn't have. Right. So. So you're stretching out. The amount of time that there's water flowing. Yeah, it's down. kind of buffer. Yes. A buffer. The team decided to build this one in Cajon del Maipo, a canyon in the Andes southeast of Santiago, the capital of Chile, which relies on glaciers for most of its drinking water. You said 10% of the world's glaciers are here yes. in Chile, and 80% of the glaciers in, in South America. America are here. Yes. Wow. Yes. And that's so, why this is so important for you. For us, uh -huh. for us, for in, 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 and the, the water is, uh, is is vital. It's a vital element. So we need to to respect it. Climate change has done anything but. You have Juncal Sur, the same glacier flowing from right to left. In 2018, you can see Juncal Sur is gone. Andres Rivera is a professor of geography at the University of Chile. He showed us photos of one nearby glacier in the 1950s compared to 2018. He says glaciers have seen ups and downs driven by natural variations in climate. But this is something else. This is what is called climate change. And it's because the increase of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere that is changing the, the global heat balance and the temperature is increasing. He says the stupas are an interesting concept, but with limited impact because they don't address the root of the problem, a warming planet. To address the, the climate change impact problem, we need much more, you know, effort from the whole society. Still, other countries are taking note. On our trip, a team of scientists from Peru came along to see the stupa. Why is Peru interested in this concept? It interests us a lot, he says, mostly because our city is in a region with limited water supply. As the stupa begins its slow drip, Goldschmidt sees the potential. But also, we wanted to go near the glaciers. Okay. Okay. So we want to repair our glaciers. Oh, you want to repair the glaciers? Wow. Yes. <laughs> That's our dream. That's, That's our your dream. dream. Yes. So this is a first step, he says, given the climate crisis of a steep, uphill battle. For CBS Saturday Morning, Manuel Bojorquez, Cajon del Maipo, Chile. I love the sharing of technology, that they got it from India. Now Peru wants to kind of listen in on how it yeah. works. Good need more projects like this. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's no doubt about it.